Welcome back to Powerball1.com. Since we're working on the back of the motor here, I figure it's time to put our LS controller in. This is basically the ignition system for the engine. This is the 6143 black box. It has programmable timing in it. You also can hook it to a laptop, change some of the timing settings if you want, or it has just some base programs that you can set it to, and it'll just run the engine. It's a pretty simple installation to where we're gonna mount it right up off the bracket that we built here. It'll have two wiring harnesses, one that'll run to the cam sensor, one that'll run to the crank sensor, and then the other harness will run to the coils so it can fire the coils. Let's get the thing mounted up. The kit comes with these little rubber mounts. You wanna make sure you mount it on rubber. Even though it's a fully potted box, it's best to take the, the vibration out of it, being that we're gonna be mounted rigid into the stringers of the boat. And they're just gonna thread right in onto this play. And you just kind of tighten those down. And then we'll put a washer and a little lock nut on the other side. On this one, I had to cut the thread back on it because it goes up against the cylinder head. So it'll just sit right up in there. And then the box is going to mount just like that. Take and put our little Phillips screws in there. Run that one in. Run that one in. Now, when we was doing the wiring harness here, needed a place to mount the little relay, so I'm just going to use the back of this. Pull the relay out. That'll slip right up on there. Okay, we've got our harness here. Let's kind of get it opened up so we can see what we've got. Okay, these two here are going to plug into the unit itself. So the small one plugs into the small one, and the bigger one plugs into the bigger one. Like that. Until they snap in place. Here's our cam and crank sensor harness. We'll take them, we're just going to loosen up our wiring harness a little bit here so we can pull it back to get the cam sensor plug in. And it's gonna go right up and pop into place like that. Now we can tighten those back up. Like that. Okay, our crank sensor is gonna come around this way and it's on this side of the block, down behind the coils. We'll run it down in. And plug that in. We're good there. This stuff will get out of the way once we get it in the stringers. Here's our coil setup. And we've got a passenger and we've got a driver. Driver's side's going to run underneath there. Passenger side there. This will just plug into the original coil harness that we used here. And then it'll have a ground wire that will connect up into here. So that's going to come up underneath the engine like this. And just plug right into that coil harness there and same thing for the other side and that's pretty much what it takes to hook this up you know this is going to be our ground and our tack lead here that will connect into our harness and then this will be our power from our relay that will actually turn on and off the box so when you turn the key on it'll energize the wire here which will turn the box off you turn your key off, it'll shut the box off, shut the engine off. Really a pretty simple thing to install. Looks a little messy right now, but once we get it in the stringers, we'll get all that straightened up. It'll look really clean when it's done. Thanks for watching. Powerball1.com.